I get that from here? Oh my god, are we doing geometry? I can't do math. Yes, yes, yes. There it is. There it is. Did nothing. There's more? Where did Jacket go? Pretty cutscene. I love drama. Oh god, it's gonna get dicey. We're gonna be criminals again. and gamers i was trying to do my daily com commission no commission mission what is what is it? what god forsaken what is it called daily mission my daily mission is star rail and it is taking me a little bit too close to luca's um companion mission and so i'm giving up on my daily mission there he goes there he goes there he goes this is being recorded post in bybutter lune polls um so here's my progress on Dunhung. He is at level 68 out of 70. I don't have any more level up mats. I have used so much of my Trailblaze power, but I love him, so it's okay. Uh, Light Cone is at level 77. Um, and I didn't know this until after I recorded that video where I pulled for him and did like a really bad quick build. Apparently my quick build was actually good. Um, <laughs> so apparently this is like a recommended Light Cone for him. If you can't get his event like banner light cone which i'm still trying to get i'm still trying to get the banner light cone because it's so pretty but then apart from that uh i'm working in traces and apparently this is actually a good setup for his relic um the uh, rope and orb ring whatever it's called i like to call it an orb i don't think this is a good set on him i gave him one for energy regen and speed but i think there is a better one you can put on him but i don't have it unlocked yet in simulated universe so i just put this on him for now you can even see one of these pieces is a four star piece uh but i'm not too worried about that because i do plan on switching these out at one point the only reason why it's a four star is because it has imaginary damage boost and i thought that speed and energy regen was pretty good for him so that's where dunhung's at um i didn't know that was an actually good build but apparently it is at least I saw it recommended in one place, and I'm going to believe it. That's not actually what we're doing today, though. What we are actually doing today is we're going back to the Trailblaze mission. I have one day off school. I got a long weekend, and so I kind of want to try and finish this today because I've been putting it off, and I just I feel like I want to finish it so that we can also do... What's the event? Because specifically, there's an event, the Arm Alley Hustle and Bustle event, which ends in 13 days. You need to have finished the entire Trailblaze mission. I want my Sushong. I want my phone background. And yes, this will be thrown into the archive after the 13 days is over. But the thing with that is I don't know what of these rewards will carry over. I don't know specifically which ones we can still get once it carries into the archive. So I want to try as hard as I can to try and be able to do that. He's sitting again. He is sitting. I love that idle animation. And I keep calling idle animation ultimate animation. I didn't realize this until I went to edit shorts, short form content from the poll video. So it took me a while to realize that, but I keep saying ultimate instead of idle animation. I don't know why. Anyways, let's get into it. So today we are going back to the Xianzhou Lofu. We are going to be doing Omniscient Inquiry of Arcana in the Windswept Wanderlust quest line. We need to help the Divination Commission to restart the Matrix of Prescience's three base terminals. So that's where we're at. Jinyuan postulates that ordinary interrogations will not be effective in learning the true motive of the Celeron Hunters. I would also postulate that. Such a goal can only be achieved using the computational algorithm named Matrix of Prescience and the Divination Commission, which can examine the past and future and calculate the truth. So it's like a lie detector, but it actually works. Now the three great base terminals of the Matrix of Prescience are once again in motion. All is ready for the interrogation. So they're not in motion yet. We're still working on that. Um, and I have something that reset on my map. I don't know what it is. And we will be doing this entire Trailblaze mission with Dunhung. What is up here? Similar Universe Awards updated because it is a Monday. There we go. I never record on Mondays, by the way. I don't know. Like, this this feels weird. I'd never record on Mondays unless I'm, like, forced to, like, the, a game updates. But usually games don't update on Monday. So I'm like, this is weird. Usually I do a big batch of recording on Sunday because events are ending and ah. Anyways, shifting screen. Looks like this is going to be another puzzle of sorts, maybe? Rotation. Okay, a rotation-based puzzle. Um, why is it a teleport? This is what I need to do. So, okay. Um, <laughs> he just pops back in. I'm sorry. That was, that was too unserious. He just... The, the, 
I broke a vase and the parts just went everywhere with Sunhung. Okay. Oh, the music here is nice. Oh, there's Ching Choi again. This is the temporal terminal. Temporal terminal. Okay, so we're starting here. Potential of the temporal plane. Well, Ching Choi talks. I'm just kind of looking around at stuff. Designed to retrieve information related to time. Can I get that from here? Oh, it doesn't work. It like tracks on. Do I have anyone else with range damage? No, it's, I just have Dunhung for ranged. Okay, that doesn't work. Anyways, we need to restart the temporal terminal. That is what we need to do. Activate base terminal. Is it just like press button? Oh, that's a puzzle. Wait, so we need to make it a triangle. No, pick up. Okay, that I thought it was not going to connect, but it does. So put you down there. I think we did it. Did we? No, because it needs to be at a different orientation. Okay, so it actually needs to go... You need to go there, and then this one needs to go right here, because it needs to be... What is that, an equilateral triangle where it's all equal angles? Oh my god, are we doing geometry? Are we doing geometry? <laughs> I can't do math! Oh my god. Luckily, geometry was the one I was the best at. I don't know what that says about me as a person, but geometry was the one... I think that was like the only time I ever got an A in a high school math class ever in my entire life. It was in ninth grade geometry. So that she says that should do it. What? And I think we're free. Matched up those <laughs> is that it? Yeah, that's it. It's geometry. The more complex <laughs> is, the more important it is to keep it simple. Fair enough. Don't you think? Work smarter, not harder. Oh, so that's simple, that. Why didn't your master diviner come and do it herself? I don't know. She's busy? <laughs> Ching Choi's a busy lady. Maybe deep down, she just wants to be lazy <laughs> once in a while. Like me. Being lazy is nice. That was me like for the earlier half of this day. And now it is two in the afternoon and I'm being productive by recording a Star Rail video, which is honestly also kind of lazy. I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to get lazy at some point in the boss quest stuff. So we need to do the spatial terminal and the karma terminal next. I don't think it matters which one we do in which order, Um, but we'll have to give it a shot. I don't know how this works then. The spinny things, I because it said it's a rotation based thing but i also am not entirely sure how that works then like how do you rotate it actually i don't even think we need to teleport on these these ones were easier there's literally a bridge oh no there's not oh here okay we need to repair this one. Oh god i don't remember how to do this um that's not right okay um hmm oh wait no i think i get it oh dang it so the s okay no i think i got this one to be in its right place okay but then this one oh yes 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 there it is there it is i did it so you can only click on the green green nodes i guess that makes it a little bit easier i literally forgot how to do the puzzle and just i did that was like luck that was entirely luck based oh my god oh no see here's a problem i'm running a team of my d where my dps's are not leveled properly and i am on equilibrium level five so this might be very easy or it might be really hard um but i can't even use a weakness oh, i can't this? even break a weakness it looks like a walking gate this is one of the mechs. Easy. There's nothing supernatural on the <laughs> I like how they say there's nothing supernatural in the Shanjo, but like there's so much magic -y stuff. <laughs> there's so much. I guess they don't really consider it supernatural though, because it's just kind of normal life stuff for them. Because I would consider the Mara struck bit supernatural. No, March will be fine. But I guess they don't consider it that, which is really interesting. We're here by order of the master. It's just normal to them. Friends. If it's broken, it's not. I, I, I don't think it's listening. Passage it can talk. It can talk. Can we get that purple thing over there really quickly? The one over here? <laughs> do something. March should join the Divination Commission. Okay, we don't get any sort of weakness break. I like how I'm like actually kind of concerned about this, but it's probably not that bad. Oh, I can't auto clear. It's level 72. Which is nice because that actually tells me what level my team is currently at because I just haven't known because usually I'm at like clean 80s. But two of my characters, my support characters are level 80, Blade 70, and we're 68. There we go. I don't even know if I want to enhance because it's not weak to imaginary. All right, fine. I'll just go in. I'll just go in and see what we can get. Did nothing. Okay, hold on. Let's shield up. We're going to be here a hot minute. We are gonna- I shouldn't have started with this one. Is this the karma one? Because that makes sense. I feel like I'm- I feel like karma's biting me in the butt right now. All right, we have two characters that consume everything we have here. So that's lovely. All right, all right, okay. I have no skill points, so we're just gonna have to rock with it. That did no damage. I think that's on me because I did not- I don't have the right traces built on Dantong. I've just been like throwing into everything. Hit it, Blade. 
he's actually weak to wind. Sanction rate increased to 66%. We're so gonna die. We're so gonna die while we're here. I should have brought in. If I know, if I had known, I would have brought in Sila. Because Quantum. Well, actually, it says it's weak to Quantum, but usually how it works in Honkai is imaginary beats imaginary and Quantum beats Quantum. There's like, they just beat each other. Oh, and we have the exploding fish. Oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Also, he took my Dunhong! Give him back! And my. <gasps> and Jeppy! Oh no. You took Jeppy! Oh, I forgot that they. Forgot they do that. I don't think we need to heal yet. Oh, you guys are weak to imaginary. Okay, that works. We have an AoE, that works. Um, hit that AoE, please. Thank you, Mr. M. Bye Better Lune. Okay, they're both stuck. I think we can reshield. I definitely think we can reshield. I don't think we need to heal, just because Blade will heal himself over time. I think we're okay. Oh, there it goes. I dread? Yeah, I dread. Don't you dare. Don't, there's more. Okay, hold on. We'll hit a middle hit to hit the ones on the side. And then we'll take, that did not take you out. This sucks. Okay, I'm going to do two hits also it kind of hit on the side blow up blow up please yes oh god oh god jeffy not by lou you took my healer i was banking on that ult oh no they're all gonna don't you dare oh god this is not looking cute what if this what if i'm just stuck here worst case scenario i can throw in a different team but god by lou can you only hit three blade why can you only hit three of them okay we'll go middle hit Blade, bladey, bladey, bladey. Oh god, and Viper Luna's gonna die. No, immediately. <laughs> I have Bailu back immediately. How do we always end up here? Because I struggled the same with the same boss actually when I had to do I think the level four ascension quest. Like this is not my first rodeo. Oh look at it. <laughs> I think every animation they gave to Five Star Dunhung is just makes him like such a tragic character. Every single one. Every single one, and I kind of love it. No! Oh, we have shields. We have shields. This is okay. Take him out! Take him out! Explode! Boom! Okay, we have done hung back. Um. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ult, 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 ult before you die, done hung. Ult before you die. Luckily, we can hit everyone in this ult. Okay, okay. Sanction mode is activated. No, there's more! What do you mean? And you took my shielder. You took my shielder. Oh, this is not looking cute at all actually i feel like enhancing blade is probably a bad idea because ah uh, okay explode boom um i have two of those we'll do that yeah we'll hit there okay all right go boom it went boom oh god oh god oh god please give me jeffy back please you took blade right when it's all went oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my gosh okay i got jeff hard back i'll take it i have shields blade can get hit a little bit more but we need the shields oh no maybe he can't blade <laughs> I think Bailu is almost up. So we should have a little bit of something something there. I'm gonna take you because you have more health. Blades back, blades back. Okay, he can heal. I don't even know if I did the right hit there. If I hit all of them. No, I think I only hit these two. Okay, I can work with this. I can work with this. I don't even think I need Bailu's heal. I think we're gonna be safe. Oh God, maybe we will. Maybe I lied. I, we might need by Lucy Hill just like as a last ditch effort sort of thing, but I'm just gonna try to keep going in here and see what we can get out of it. Blade. There we go. We survived. We survived. I don't even know which one this is. I still think we might be on the Karma Terminal because it just makes sense that this would be the Karma. This would be this Karma biting me in the butt. Spatial terminal. It's the Spatial Terminal, this not terminal Karma. Designed to retrieve so <laughs> there's apparently to worse. What's down you here? You probably could have guessed that. There's something that's gonna- There's two things that are gonna kill me down there. Why don't I see them? Oh, now I see them. I think I confused them a little bit. All right, let's do the spatial terminal. Trapezoid. Oh, but it's it's actually just two- Oh God, how do you do this one? Okay, so one of them has to be down here. And then this one needs to be here, but it needs to also kind of make a triangle. So, well, you need to go here. If we bring this one down here, I thought that would do it, but it didn't. So maybe we put you here, actually? It needs to be two equal triangles and it's not. And that is the part that is getting confusing. Darn, what, how do you, cause this one is easily, these, these two go here, right? But I can't figure out these other ones to be even. Cause it just feels like it's too far away. Cause I would think it's like in the right spots. Maybe, maybe. I feel like I've tried this though. Oh, I think this might be it. Yeah, there it is. It's just a little bit distorted. Okay, that makes sense. We did it. I was like, this doesn't make any sense, but now it does. 
So that's the spatial one. And now we need to deal with the actual karma one, which kind of scares me because I feel like if that was karma, it might get worse. Although I could just be terrified for nothing. It might not be. <laughs> I'm sorry. Dunhung breaking the vase. This is just too good because it just it like explodes. He explodes it. I do think we're going to have to fight over here, though. So it might actually be smart to bring Sila back on for a little bit just so I can kind of go past some of these opponents because that was like probably the easiest way to do this. But also, like, are we playing the game? Like, how lazy do I feel like being? Like, we were talking about sometimes you just want to be lazy. How lazy are we talking? Oh, you need... No, you need to go there. And then I need you to go there. But... Oh, God, wait. I goofed so hard. Okay, hold on. I need to... Oh, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? I think I need to move you out? Because I can't... Oh, yikes. Because that one's in the right spot, but I can't figure out how to get this one in without moving the other one. Can I reset? Because I, I definitely goofed there. Because if you put this one in its spot, very it's very easy to put it in its spot, but then it messes up the whole thing. So we need to do this S1 first, which I don't think is actually an S. I think it's actually a character for something that my brain is blanking on. Realistically, we would need to do both of them at the same time. I think they're opposite here. Ooh. Oh, no, we got it. Did we? Oh, no, we didn't. How do we go about this one? Oh, okay. I have to reset again. This one's hard. It's probably so easy once you figure it out, too. So they're separated by one. Maybe this is it? I think I got it. There we go. There we go. We got it. That one was actually kind of difficult because you have to figure out how to cheese it, basically. Because <laughs> you're not figuring out how to get both of them in the spot. You're figuring out how to do it together at the same time, which is kind of the rough heart with that one i'll break that it's so fun to break things sometimes just really good at breaking things that's like the destruction bit going there uh, all right time space oh this terminal is energy related i mean unless you talk, consider karma Heart, energy karma terminal which yeah this terminal is designed to establish causal relationships oh, and actually easy to obtain treasure who would have thought wow i guess you could say karma is energy based though because like i guess karmic energy is a thing debatably why is it purple okay we don't have to fight anything but it is like the base boosted puzzle what the heck okay so these top four points actually look like they might be in the right spot but then we kind of have to do that weird triangle thing again so we have to bring this point over here and then this point would go over here this is not as half as hard as the other one i think if you did it out of order like if you did this one second and then the hourglass looking one first or third i feel like that would be it but also it would be easier because you just did this one i don't know this one just seemed a lot easier even though it, i thought it was gonna be harder because it was the purple boosted one and i went to take a nice look at dan hung okay let's head out we have to report back to fushan it took 20 minutes 20 minutes i do enjoy puzzles though so like i'm like complaining about it but also i'm like that was fun can we do more to be fair they're all different colors so i feel it i see it now okay i didn't even realize that the green one so we all got we, they all got harder okay i see it now i do see it which i guess actually the green is like the colorful color for two star mats blue is three star and purple is four star so they're like they associate these colors with these things so we're gonna make the <laughs> anyways hi fushan well done, all hello of you. Thank you. The Matrix of I felt smart for a hot me. second. Not that smart, but a little bit. Now, Just enough. Kafka. Oh yeah, Kafka. Those I'm taking a tea break. Core may feel a few impacts. Impacts? What core? Are what are we ready? talking about? Um, yeah, let's go interrogate Kafka. I probably should have a better, a better team for this, I feel like. I feel like <laughs> I should be better prepared. Necessary. Where'd her jacket go? I said I'd cooperate with you. <laughs> I've never seen her without I her jacket. No interest in the words of wanted criminals. Especially would she cooperate though because here's the deal right she said i would cooperate with you i told you i would cooperate with you and i actually am inclined to believe that but only because it all goes back to the fact that like the elio's story like there's no way we beat them or get above the stellar on hunters while they have elio narrating them exactly what's going to happen so like yeah she would cooperate because she knows what's going to happen post this scene and she knows she's going to get out scot-free like they know exactly what happens so like if the script says cooperate with the law food, she's going to cooperate with the people on the law food. Like it just, you know, like there's, we just, we can't get ahead of them. <laughs> They're one step ahead of us. Multiple steps because they know how the story ends. 
I wonder how far ahead the they know, though. Like, do they know the whole story? Or just, like, one chapter? Sort of thing. She's also, just, Kafka's so pretty. It's probably a good thing I didn't do this while Kafka's banner was on, because I would have just, I would have all in. What I did for Dunhung would have ended up happening with Kafka, and I'm happy I did it with Dunhung instead. I love a dragon character. Ooh, pretty cutscene. Ooh. That's really cool. She's floating. Oh, she, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. The look on her face, she knows something. Obviously, she knows something, but like, she knows she can overpower Fushun, I think. Yeah. She just cursed. Why are here? Oh. All for that? No, it wasn't like an overpowered well, situation, but not what you were expecting. Also, Kafka has pupils again. Okay, she has full eye. It. Oh my gosh. The of prescience cannot be wrong. That it wasn't like Kafka overpowered Fu Xuan. Kafka told Fu Xuan exactly why they're here, and it's freaking her out. <laughs> All right. Because Kafka pulled one over on us again. Yeah, there's something else going on. Probably Blade is up to something at the same time as us, because Blade did get out. And they have the, pow the power of Silverwolf and hacking as well. What did you see, Fuswen? What are they up to? Kafka I love drama. To do with the Stellaron, but you. Oh. you. Oh, wait. Did they not know that we are, like, the Stellaron? Like, I guess they we wouldn't have told them. But they're trying to turn the Xianzhou on us. Oh god, it's gonna get dicey. We're gonna be criminals again. I guess that was kind of like a secret thing. Third. I'd never have thought it. Yikes. But what is Kafka's actual plan, though? Was her plan just to get everyone up in arms so nothing gets done? Because that's what it feels like. Yeah, tell us what's going on. What is going on here? Like. As for yourself. Take as long as I you guess, wish. yeah, we can't talk to her, but she has pupils. I she has pupils again. To the general immediately. Please excuse me. So what is the difference there? I, maybe that was the point, though. You go ask her. Yeah, thanks, Well, um, Maybe that was the whole point, though, to get Fushun to leave. So we then question Kafka, and then whatever we tell Kafka, the Xianzhou Lo Fu people don't know what Kafka tells us. It's just a lot of this storyline is just a lot of, like, ulterior motives and people playing with, like, who knows what. So it just makes it a mess. <laughs> but it's so dramatic. Uh, you still have many questions for Kafka. Yourself. This is true. I would like to ask Kafka every single question that I can. Um... So you can talk with Kafka alone. She's still floating there. <laughs> Prophets do not prophesize. Interesting that that's the name of the achievement for that. Witness the mystery of the Divination Commission's matrix, and then interrogate Kafka with ma the matrix of prescience and challenge the divination with the foresight. Interesting that's what they call it. Interesting, interesting. Do we want to talk to a march and well? Let's see what they have to say. If there are questions you want Kafka Yeah, to I know answer, this well. I know that now's the time. There are so many things I want to ask. Is there anything you want to know? Is there there well? are many things I want to know, Ooh. but they can wait. Fair enough. Does what is Welt's reason for doing this in the first place? Like his actual reason? Because like I said, ulterior motives. Like it has to be related to the Sea of Quanta. But like, does he know something that Stellaron hunters know something about the Sea of Quanta? Like, what is up there? And then March. Here you go. I don't want to talk to that woman. <laughs> March just hates her. Be careful, oh though. gosh. Don't get fooled by her again. We won't get fooled. We will not be fooled. I'm an expert. <laughs> Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool you what now? <laughs> she doesn't oh, know the quote. Stop it. I'm getting Fu Shuen vibe. That's not even a hard one, March. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. That's the quote. Although I probably, I feel like I deserve a third time, a secret third time to be fooled before I get it. I guess let's talk to Kafka. Right to the cutscene we go. Oh, she's so pretty. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Kafka. You you're pretty. Changed a bit. Oh. oh. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a Kafka. We state. don't remember that much here. Don't act like we're friends. You don't look like you're in a sorry state to me. Maybe that. Maybe she is alluding to where I her pupils have reappeared. Like that's the sorry state. It could be. Hmm. You don't look like you're in a sorry really? state. She that's looks very good. pretty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to affect your image. I you set me up for that. Train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. There it is. So she knew that what far ahead at least. Think? So they must. How many chapters do me. they know? How many chapters have they read ahead? I guess. What did Fushuan see, or what is your objective? Oh my god! I want to ask everything, but I can only pick one of the three. Oh god! I literally want to ask everything. Oh dear. 
I don't even know what to say. Because, I again, I want to ask everything, but that's not an option. I thought it would be like we go up to her and like, you know how you can pick multiple questions to ask in a row? I thought that's what this interaction was going to be, but it's not. Gosh. Ah. <laughs> What's your objective? Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they okay. were the same in essence. Interesting. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all so did i ask the questions i guess that's Since it doesn't matter which one you pick one then the three questions it doesn't matter what you pick means which that's really cool actually going smoothly are you ready to hear my answer? i don't know kafka i don't know if i'm ready for this Stellar. she's just gonna tell me not directly linked to us huh but if you look at so it what is it linked to perspective you can't is this like a bigger problem that we're all getting roped up in then we foresaw all this Long ago. So they know many chapters. But they know books ahead. Different until the time was right. They didn't just read a ch couple chapters ahead. They read like multiple Divine books ahead in the series. Because she discovered three truths. Interesting. One, so it doesn't matter which one you pick. Are not enemies of the Sienjo. Well, I could have told you that. I don't think it's that clear cut. To believe it. Enemies and allies. I think Two, everyone's everything. Someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo. Huh. My money's on uh, Locha. <laughs> a result of both internal unrest. Is that his name? I forget. External. <laughs> my, my, immediately, immediately, my brain went. It's Auto Apocalypse. And enemies from outside want to overthrow. What is it? I was talking about Auto. If we had an Auto job scare in a hurry to find the general. Presumably, what is it? Oh. to inform him of this fact. Okay, I actually need to read this and go over it myself because I was I was thinking about Auto Apocalypse. Um, someone else brought the Stellar on and into the Shinjo and activated it. A result of. It, internal unrest and external aggression because i'm like who came well technically locha wasn't here he wasn't here when it was a thing so i guess it wouldn't be him but then who would it be you know unless it goes as far so far back to maybe it was damfeng and it just is that it's been a minute it's been here for a minute and now it's finally like getting agitated you know it's getting angry <laughs> sentient stellar on got angry <laughs> Traitors on the Lofu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Xianzhou. So I'm thinking Dunfeng was that traitor. Enemies from outside. I don't know. I don't know who those enemies from outside are, but it would make sense that there is some third, fourth party that we're all fighting against. Because I've said it before, I don't think the Stellar Hunters are enemies. I think at the end of the day, we're either going to have to work with them or something like that. Especially if they know chapters ahead, I think we're going to have to end up working with them. So it would make sense if there's another one that we all fight. Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the general, presumably to inform him of this fact. And he knows more about this, especially if the traitor is Dan Feng, because he would have been there. He read the thing. Remember, he read the thing. So I guess that makes more sense. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Okay. Elia so Elia knows more than he's giving out pieces of information to set up me. the story. He foresaw the divination commission using Interesting. the matrix of prescience against me. So there's parts even she doesn't know. Setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what So Elio knows the Enjo Alliance to know even more. In this which moment. would make sense cuz he's kind of like the writer of the story and then I guess the Stellar Hunters are like they're, they're, there's a word for it specifically but the Stellar Hunters are like the like draft readers. There's a specific phrase for that but I forget what it is. So as for number three, number three, what's number three? The wildest dreams the Sienjo <laughs> Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> what's number? If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I Blady. even here? <laughs> Blady, we're here for you. Oh, oh, we can ask for us, but I don't think it's us. I think it's specifically playable character us. Like it's not all three of us. I think. I don't think she's lying, but is it for us? Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Maybe it is all three of us. It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. Huh. But the matrix of prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just. So it is just like bizarre. a biblically accurate the lie detector. Hunters appearing here. She lady called lady getting again. Arrested, huh. Me being lured to the matrix of prescience. I guess that makes also. That also makes the sense. Astral Express crew. Huh. The Cienjo. Well, we could have just you could have just told us to go here. It, we didn't need to get arrested, Kafka. Well, I guess you didn't need to get arrested. I, we, we're not arrested. You are. Honestly, we could be arrested soon. I wouldn't put it past anyone. It wouldn't be the first time in a Hoyoverse game that we're arrested. But I guess it makes sense then, because even in the scene where Kafka does show up, and then I think later the one before where the one before Fushun shows up, she literally makes a comment 
She's like, ah, oh, the master diviner's not here. The diviner specifically isn't here. I'm out. Bye. And then she gets excited when she does show up. That was the reason, because it was like, oh, everything's going to plan. Solid. But what if it doesn't go to plan? Because there was also what Kafka said prior to this, that everything is going smoothly. What? Like, can we change that? Because I want, I want to start messing with the timeline. Besties, I want to mess with the timeline. <laughs> Interesting. In the future that Elio chose. So he chose the that. The power of the hunt is indispensable. The hunt, specifically. That's why the what about, Astral what, what about the hunt? crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. Because... You had to establish a connection uh, with the Alliance. You could have... Could, there's an easier yeah. way to do this, Kafka. That's why I had to trick you into coming here. But I guess Elio's all here for all the drama. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve... At the, the same time, effect. though... I needed the Alliance to... If it didn't exactly work out this way, way we might not have met future, Jingyuan or something like that. Pushed. Critical moment. The Sienjo will huh. offer you their help. Is that when we fight Fantelia? Is that the most critical moment, Kafka? Surprise. Yeah. The notorious Stellaron hunters. But also not really. Just to make you a hero of the Sienjo. <laughs> Quite That's the so... twist, don't you think? Because the Stellaron hunters weren't involved in Bellabog, but we still were like the hero of Bellabog. We can just say you're lying again. Why are you helping me or what is the future you're talking about? Oh, I want to ask both. I guess it doesn't technically matter. I think whatever of the three we say, it's like the same answer, which is also can be unpacked is something that's really interesting that it doesn't it, the illusion of choice. Basically, it doesn't matter what we pick. It all is the same in the end. But why are you helping us, Kafka? I think I'm going to ask that one. Like I said, oh, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. So she Future doesn't know that. Endless possibilities. Why is she getting angry? Right Kafka's angry now. Time could spoil all our hard work oh knowing the right thing at the wrong time interesting there is only one i wanted to make the text go away oh it's the, the it's this button i forgot in the best and the worst cases huh you will eventually have to face nanook the destruction didn't we already face nanook and when that time comes or we actually have to fight you nanook need all the help you can get is that the end it will be a brutal struggle so ionic proportions Aeonic proportions. Is Nanook then the destruction? Is that like the big bad of this world? Which is also kind of interesting. Do we have a Hersher of destruction? I feel like we do. Maybe we don't because no, I don't think anything's going to come up on Google. Yeah, we don't. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean there's like a similar being in Honkai impact specifically. Interesting. Interesting that we start with Nanook and it looks like we're also going to end with Nanook portions that neither you nor I nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. Where are we going with this? Majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be Elio's plan. Can we meet Elio? Is Elio the cat? Even eons can be killed. Are we going to kill a god? Oh my god, that's fun. In the meantime, okay, we have a little a little bit of this looks like we get to see where oh wait is it at the other end of the lawfu so it looks like we're going back to dunhung maybe or hey, yeah Lucha. going back to it is Lucha. About the propagation Either the way, propagation one of the aeons oh so, aeons can die huh. so he's finding this out at the same time i feel like I dunhung probably knew invincible. aeons eons can die if anyone would do it out that it would be him <laughs> There is no true invincibility or immortality oh. in the world. Yeah, Lacha, I bet you would know Such that. Exaggerations are born of the <laughs> bet you would know that, Lacha. I don't trust this man. Beings. He's so pretty, but I don't. Ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. Ordinary beings. That eon was slain at the hands of another. So are we going to end up working with an eon? Or because we have a Celeron, will that kind of work? Instead, well, this, it's probably the same. You say they're all eons, from the right? <laughs> Other eons aside, surely you like, must know the story of Lan and Yausha. Is it destroying <laughs> the Yausha, the alliance's cherished aim? Interesting, interesting. But like, how many? There's like two different wars between gods and Genshin. So like, are we really surprised at this point? Of course, I know. Well, I think a little. <laughs> My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't. Interesting how they. Why did they use the British spelling? In that case, 
Let's just change the subject. Oh, Sushang. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much. Locha, how about you explain it? I love lore. Fine. But also, we're 42 how's minutes into the video. Subject? What's in the What's box? in the box, Locha? What's in the box? I wanted to ask this, oh, this at an earlier point, I think. One? Yeah, that one, Locha. It's a casket. More He's really talking around that one. Oh, Dunhung doesn't like it it's either. For containing the remains of the deceased. And why are you transporting a coffin? Deceased. <laughs> Aren't you I feel like we learned about this earlier on, but maybe we'll get a little bit more Indeed. info here. This is just part of my job. Huh, is it? I was asked huh. To deliver this coffin to the Sienjo. So uh, nothing's in the coffin? For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. This is so... Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. That yeah, that makes sense. Occurrence. I also it's am losing some of the text. Bodies and, and I can't coffins. scroll, so... Uh, <laughs> coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma... So why do you have a coffin, sir? Why do you have a coffin? The Foxians and the I feel like... What, what's in it? Ceremonies. Oh. Foxian soldiers place their dead in stars gifts and then let them Oh, that has to come into play. Stars. They call in. the returning. Oh my god, I love um <laughs> Xenoblade you know, you know, like Chronicles 3. Mysterious. They say that when a Vidiadora It's mysterious cuz don't they just like reincarnate? Injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. An egg? And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. Okay. What did what happened to Dunhung? Long scions. Long. Oh wait, that's the thing. <gasps> that's the thing. Of how the Vidyadara could turn into dragons. Long scions. Okay, that was mentioned in a lot of the lore stuff. Oh, and we're playing as Dunhung again, which is really interesting because he knows quite a bit about this. I would assume. I well, there were so many other things I wanted to say, and then it says then the lore hits me with something else, and it's like I don't remember what we were gonna actually say. I got thrown off guard by Long Scions. I think it was that Sushang suddenly turned British because she actually... Anyways, it's just a legend. Ooh, only special Vidyadara can turn into dragons. I guess that would make sense. What would Dunhung say, though? What would... I think... I, I honestly think he, he would... This is too many words for him. <laughs> I'm messing. I'm messing. Uh, it's just a legend, I think, is what he would say. What do you know? Silent but deathly speaks. I don't think it matters particularly which one I pick either. Your mother is right. Oh. The Vidyadara are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. Eon of Permanence is long. Some, okay. Not all could turn into dragons. Okay. The power was a rare So that's not an Aeon Eon. It's Eon. That's not an Eon that we have anymore. Numerous rights and challenges. Interesting. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was. Oh, a it's, I feel like it's probably a little bit of both. Both a blessing and a curse. It's not an or, it's an and. I've heard the story of Long the so, Prince and their descendants. Many myths and legends. What happened? Eon for a rich <laughs> what happened to the life. Eon of Permanence? But for some reason, the Eon disappeared among disappeared. the stars without a trace. It, will they come back? They had never existed. Oh. Only oh, that's messy. It's kind of messy. Every life has its limit. Watch out, why are you singing? Even the eon. Why are you singing? It's giving a little bit too much of auto. Mortal and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, I mean, let me ask you. I don't think they're gonna die of old age, but they can be killed. We're going back to that one. No, the person. In the so there coffin? is someone in the coffin. <laughs> yeah. Is it Callan? Is it Callan? I'm not. I'm not d diving into that at all. A friend. No. Not a friend. So, uh... Huh. A sweetheart? If he says yes, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, miss. Whatever gave you that impression? The... Individual okay. ...in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only... Okay. ...once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this... Oh, my God. There's, like, a loud noise outside. <laughs> Let's leave it at that, shall we? No! I want to know more. Open the, Open the coffin. Open the coffin! The auto-looking man. Oh, we're we are done hung again. 
I'm done hung. <laughs> so is that the hashtag? Oh gosh, it's so dark too. It's dark and I every time I try to like zoom out to get a better view of things, I can't see a thing. <gasps> Cannot change character. Oh, so we we literally have to use Den Hung. We can't switch to other characters. You're not weak to wind though. They said this is we're gonna make this as hard as we possibly can for y'all, and you're gonna have to deal. What was the uh let's run past. Can we run past? I think we can. Mara struck. Mara struck, it yes. Like Am I free? I think Wait. it's gonna okay, it's gonna leave me alone. Let's think before we act. Think before we act. Yeah. Can I switch characters? No. We just have Den Hung. Which I don't actually don't think we're gonna get a weakness here. Get a weakness break. I think it'll just be story in the fight. Wait, who are you? Are you a playable character? You look like you're a play playable character. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Sushang just keeps calling him that. That has to be a playable character, right? There's too many details on our outfit. I didn't know that we met playable characters. Like not yet playable characters in this part. Because she looks familiar, and by familiar, I mean I think she's featured in the theme song. <laughs> the theme song bit. All right, it's auto clearing. That's fine. That's fine by me. I was getting a little bit lazy. It's fine. Locha is still just a story character as well, so we can't actually play him, which is kind of stinky because I miss Locha and Sushank. But we will get Sushank from the event because we will do the event. I swear, we will do the event. Whoa. I'm not used to old Dunhung because I've been playing. I've been playing like I my five star Dunhung is not built, but I've been throwing him on all my teams and just hoping for the best. I have two built support characters, so we'll be fine. That's like my my main theory going into every single battle I've done in this game. He's only died in simulated universe and I was flying too close to the sun in that anyways. My whole team died, so it doesn't matter if he died. Everyone died. Miss so who is this? You okay? As I can't flip the screen around to see her clearer. What do you think? She has to be playable, right? There's too many Sorry, accessories on her outfit. Blood, so I, I thought you were okay. Oh. You're a puppet. More puppets, but also it says Mama cyborg. Is broken. Interesting. I can't move. I didn't know she was a robot. Are you a cloud knight? That's really cool. Good. Because I feel like take me. I don't know if this character's been driven. Marketed. I. Uh, but I feel like we've seen them, right? Locha, I love robot I characters. I'm afraid we have to delay things again. Are we ever going to meet up? I know we meet up eventually, but the judges of the Ten Lords oh. Commission. As a Cloud Knight, I must prioritize her order. This lady, but you, she's like your superior. If I'd known, I wouldn't have got you to come with me. I mean, she can't do anything. You she's stuck. Her mode is broken. <laughs> now if you'd by yourself. I mean, I we could just keep going. Some medical knowledge. Perhaps I can treat the young lady. I was gonna say, you know, I was gonna say, Locha, she's a robot. She's a robot. You can't do anything about that. But you know what? Yeah, he would know. He would know. Just let Sushang let him cook for like five minutes. Just let him cook for five minutes. You know. Don't worry, Miss Sushang. Let him cook for five minutes. Is she gonna be put on the team then, or? Get an aching or numbing oh, pretty. Do you think you can hold still? Oh, oh, and like her headphones, you can see she is a robot. Good. This is really pretty. It's kind of, it's kind of really nice. And you can even hear the robot noises. It won't work. My body. Shui Yi. Okay, so that's mechanical, who she is. I feel like that is supposed to be a playable character eventually. Be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substance. Composite substance. I just hope you'll tolerate my methods. Interesting. I mean, I guess if it's magical healing, it would work like that. Huh. Curious. I guess it also makes sense why her eyes would look like that. <laughs> She's a robot. What kind of medical knowledge. Honkai this? medical magic stuff, Sushong. That's exactly what <laughs> for the Aeon of Abundance. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, she definitely Good. looks like a robot. Good. That makes so much sense. No longer need to return to the Realm Keeping Commission. The mission. So let's head out. Her outfit is so cool. As a Wait. Judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden is this interfering in the part of the outfit here or clipping? However, seeing as you came to my <laughs> Wait. Aid, a word of oh, now I can't see. Now I can't see it. As soon as possible. She's so cool. Oh, I'm done for. I hope she's a four star because if she's a five star, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I, I don't have the back the of Google Play any money. Google Play money anymore. A Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship uh, and wields a divine weapon. 
not necessarily unless they're mixing it up cuz hadn't been for a strange accident my uh -huh. wingspan might have been cut short wake span strange accident what's the act yeah no what is did blade do something oh no that is just like a cutout in her outfit i thought her like arm this is just a cutout here i thought it was clipping i thought it was like oh she's not playable yet so she's clipping where are we headed i wonder if they would change this how the story this part of the story runs once we do get like a playable shui because i'm assuming she'll be playable at some point she's too cool of a character to not be I've never seen anything like it oh it's a tree house <laughs> We should probably think about being done for the day, but also I'm like, okay, so we're back to the Divination Commission, no. Even and we're picking good. back up right where we left off. Interesting. So your plan is to kill an Eon. <laughs> Are you kidding? Is it though? That's not what we want. What I do you want? Stories from the past. No. Huh. Stories about eons that have fallen. Well, we already heard the story of one of them, Long, the Permanence. permanence Adrilla, the, beauty, the beauty is one we heard of. Order, Tazeranth, the Tazeranth, I never know how to say that. Akivili, the Akivili yeah. Akivili was His one that passed. Known all over the universe. I know we've heard now, the beauty quite a bit. Disappeared, I think Kafka is related to the beauty. There's We have a playable character that is like... In some way related to the beauty. There are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. So one of them is get one. wrecked. <laughs> Paths with overlapping concepts oh. will eventually collide. And the broader Interesting. path will engulf the narrower one. I don't know about that one. That's how Anna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Okay, so I liked that she actually said that because I have not known how to say the the harmony this whole time. I think I was saying Shipe, but that's how I was reading it. But I didn't know that's how it was actually supposed to be said. So now I know that. I don't know if I would necessarily consider order and harmony the same thing. I feel like they're similar concepts, but I don't know if they would necessarily be overlapping. I feel like they're like parallel, but not like they wouldn't hit each other, you know? But that also could be a translation thing. Like they might make more sense as like the same thing in a different language i'm assuming like chinese they might make more sense in chinese but at the same time maybe that's just by overlapping it also means those like parallel concepts things that are very similar but the, that also doesn't make sense because there's playable paths that are like very similar because i was trying to i was running with the theory of like seven deadly sins there's probably one for each path because we have seven pa playable paths but some of them are like really similar and i was like i was actually having trouble attaching certain things to, to paths because they were just really similar so huh because harmony is playable harmony is a playable one but order isn't obviously two a war, a war between, between eons. eons that's a thing okay the stronger side we've annihilate. seen that like more in genshin with the gods that's how taser on the propagation fell okay under the guidance of the hunt. Because Tazeranth is the one in simulated universe. The universe. Like, it's not a path there, but a lot of the, like, event by the occasion things so mention Tazeranth. The Cienjo, too, are engaged in this process. Yeah, I guess they are. Because of good old Fantilia. I don't know if Fantilia... Is Fantilia an Aeon? I don't know. <laughs> they want to kill the Abundance, though. Oh, yeah, they don't like Yao shit because they have Lun and Yao shit and they want to kill Yao shit. Okay. I, again, I want to ask all of these. Why does the Shanjo want to kill the Abundance or Yalsha? How did Tazeranth die? And what about Akavili? Did they die at the hands of an Eon? I want to ask all three of these things, but I think if we ask one, it'll we'll get everything. So I think the most, if we only were to get one though, I think the most relevant one is why does the Shanjo want to kill oh, Yalsha? Because Yalsha's the healing one. Like what? Well, as far as I Maybe, know, oh wait, of the Alliance that would make sense. The no, that would make sense. Speakers. They searched for Yausha. Uh huh. Yeah, because of the immortality bit. Okay, no, that makes sense. That makes they total sense. They found the Eon. They received the blessing that did indeed prevent death. Okay. The Ambrosial Arm. No, it makes sense that they would want to take out Yausha because Yausha's the healing one. And I was thinking of it more from a standpoint of like necromancy, like bringing people back from the dead sort of thing. And that's like probably frowned upon, like cheating fate almost, which is definitely frowned upon in the Hoyoverse at large. Cheating fate is frowned upon, but it would also then make sense because the whole thing with the Xianzhou is that they have the secret of immortality that they're like guarding. And if you like that Yaosha being the healing eon would then have that secret. <laughs> so you can't die if you can constantly heal yourself. So that does make sense. That does make sense why they would want to take out Yaosha because they want to. Be yeah, Xianzhou. it's a curse. That's there it is. 
firing Ooh. an arrow and felling the ambrosial arm. So that's when the hunt appeared. Because the hunt is one that I'm like, the hunt and the destruction are like very similar. Pursuit of Yaoshu. Like they're similar enough that they would combine if order and harmony combined. Along the way. Erasing immortality. There it is. Okay, that makes more sense now. If that makes more sense no? that they would want to take out Yasha. They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would. Because even like down to the name, I want to say at least half of Yasha, the same character is used in the word for medicine. But I also could be reaching, and it could be a different character that just sounds the same. I could be reaching. Anyways, why are you? What about the third way, or why are you telling me all this? I want to ask both of those. Yes, I believe. I believe in the nonsense. I believe. I totally believe in all this. But I want to know the third way and why you're telling me this. But I think it's more important to know the third way because you'll probably tell us why you're telling this with the third way. Hold on. Any way? No. Oh no! Is something gonna happen? <laughs> oh dear God. It's begun. Kafka, don't laugh like that. All right, we got a fancy cutscene. There's the arbor. <laughs> Yikes! It didn't matter what we asked at the end of the day. It was gonna get dicey anyways. There's the Ambrosial Arbor! Back from the day! <laughs> Kafka, how'd you get out of there? Wait, is all the magic stuff just messed up now? <gasps> I choked! Let's go, Blady! Blady! Two more places to visit. Oh my god, I thought she was still handcuffed and just like vibing. <laughs> Why is no one standing there with us? Why was it just us? March, we- you were right there, March. You were right there. If what she said is true. Oh, we're talking. We won't have to explain anything. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, did she brainwash you? No, might as well though. Yeesh. Okay, well, we'll be done for today. <laughs> so that was definitely enough for one video. Uh, and then we'll do the next part, find Fu Shun and Jing Yuan, and report to them about the Ambrosial Arbor's strange resurrection. So it is back from the dead. We'll stand right here for now uh, and let Zenhung do whatever he wants to do, apparently. That was a lot. That was definitely a lot. Uh, I don't have any achievements or anything. Okie dokie. Uh, that was a lot, but we will keep going because we are in the thick of it now. I love lore. That's what we're getting away with from this video. I just love lore so much. So much. Zenhung, you're about to meet those old friends yet again. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give me a like down below as well as subscribe for more and click the little notification bell to be notified when I upload new ones. As always, I hope everyone at her is having a super lovely day wherever you are in the world and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Bye.